dollars per hour. Complete the table relating your pay to the number of hours you work. Let's see. What are we gonna do to solve this particular problem? Mm, this is hard for me. I'm gonna go with Kira. Kira, can you come up here and explain to the class? Give a shout out to Jason for clapping and being supportive.
as the unit rate. So what do we know about this chart? Why is it proportional? Using what Fatimaza just said and using what Christopher said, can someone put that together? How do we know that this is a proportional relationship? How do we know? Ibrahim? Yes. Someone that wants to add on? Okay, Tiana. Um, because they both, because all of them has have the same unit rate, which is eight. Did you hear that back there, Akila? What she said. Can you hear? Can somebody reiterate what Kaysiana just said? Can someone please reiterate what Kaysiana just said? It was really a nugget of knowledge that we all need to know. What did Kaysiana just say about the unit rate for all of the hours? Popsicle sticks. And what about the eight for all of our hours? How do we know that this entire chart is proportional? Go ahead, again. Four pops of PR. No, we're going to get you one way or the other. Either you can volunteer or involuntarily. Don't choose your pops. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. is what for each of those hours? And it is, what's our math word for something that is the same? Jamani? Not even similar, Jason. Equivalent. The unit rates are all equivalent. You said equivalent? Oh, I'm sorry, love. Give them both a shout out for saying that. <laughs> no, absolutely. Good job, guys. Make sure you have that written down, please. Give Sadie a shout out. She already had that written down before I even said that. All the yeah. <laughs> Who can read number three? Number three. So we haven't heard from Jamani. Next to loud, please. So, using the chart of thumb in the problem one, describe how you would use the information from the table to determine how much money you would be paid for X amount of hours. Alright y'all, so it's Christmas coming up. Miss Henry wants to work 17 million hours and she's getting paid $18 an hour. How much money is she bringing in? How are you going to figure that out? 17 million hours. She's, she has a lot of she has a lot of siblings. She needs to buy some presents. How are you going to figure it out, Alex? Um, Hold on, Alex. Let's make sure you're being respected. What do you multiply it by? Um, 17 million by 18, so you tell you what, uh, hour, 18 dollars. Eight hours. I get paid eight dollars an hour. Oh, then, um, eight times the amount of hours we work. How does he know that we need to multiply the amount of hours, X hours, by eight? Why is that true, Jamari? Because, um, if you want to, like, get the, the amount of money you, uh, put, um, the amount you want, or you have to do unit rate multiplied by, um, the, um, the time and the, um, and the amount you get paid. Can we write an equation for this? Let's see if this is always true. If we want to know how much we're going to get paid, our pay, what do we need to multiply our hours by based on what Jamani just said? What should we multiply our hours by to figure out our pay all the time at this rate? Miriam? How much hours do we get? So we have X. We don't know how many hours. It doesn't matter. I can put any random amount of hours. What do I need to multiply my random amount of hours with in order to figure out my pay all the time for this particular scenario? I see a lot of hesitant hands. A lot of so we have popsicle sticks? No. no. So what do we need to multiply by? Kiori. Oh, I did 17 million by eight. By eight. Why eight? Because. Um, that's the way you get paid per hour. Per hour. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We are going.